Today I'm working on a 2010 Porsche Cayenne. Um, this one came in and needs a valve cover gasket. So I'm just talking about something I see on these from time to time and it's kind of a, um, basically one of the only reasons why I don't, I don't love these motors in these cars. Um, the, the engine itself, they're, they're pretty great. You know, once in a while you'll have to put a timing chain on one, which is a pretty, pretty big deal, but they're not overly problematic. I've seen them with very high miles and still the original chain and um, not have a problem with that. But they have another thing where the cold start misfire and they'll have carbon deposits because they have direct injection like most modern motors do. And um, you know, with being it's a VR6, it's, um, I don't know, a lot of you guys already know about this, but it's a, it's, a, it's a V6 narrow angle and it shares one cylinder head. So you have bank one, bank two, and uh, the intake is all on the one side and the intake ports go all the way from this side back to the intake on, on the other side of the motor. So these intake ports are really long. And then the, um, the, the odd number ones are very long and then the even number ones are um, very short. So they kind of compensate for that length difference at, with the intake manifold, the way it's designed. But um, yeah, they get carbon deposits like, like the other motors do. You can see they're kind of, the valves are starting to coke up. This one actually is still idling pretty smooth, but it's starting to get, it's starting to get some decent buildup on it and um, that will start affecting the performance eventually. And the bigger problem is these ports you can get to like any other motor pretty easily. You can get in there and walnut shell blast them or pick them out of there with metal picks or however you want to do it. You can clean these valves pretty easily, but these odd ports, they're uh, really, really far in there. As you can see, you can't really get to them. There's a divider there and then the ports are way back there, super far in, so you'd have to Walnut shell blast them with some special attachment and then try to blow out the debris. It would, even if with a vacuum attachment, it's still, you're gonna, it's kind of a risky thing to do. And um, I don't, I don't really like, don't really like that design. Um, the whole thing could be avoided if they did like how a lot of motors, you know, on the later models they do, they add fuel injectors, like old fashioned port injectors into the intake manifold. And that, the solvent actually goes and cleans the valves like how you know how you used to not have problems like this with older motors because the fuel also a solvent would just you know would be on the back side of the valve spraying inwards and they would hit the back of the valve and clean it so stop the buildup from happening the buildup is caused from the crank the crankcase vapors being rerouted into the intake manifold and um, over time that little oil mist just keeps hitting a hot valve over and over and over and kind of building up that way so it can be slowed down and um, a lot of times prevented by adding aftermarket catch cans and things like that, that kind of, um, it's somewhere to collect all the oil vapors and condense it into a liquid before it goes back into the intake manifold, but that's kind of re-engineering the whole system. And um, other than that, there's not a whole lot you can do. A lot of people ask me about additives and the fuel and things like that, fuel injector cleaners and stuff like that. It doesn't do anything because it doesn't get to where the actual carbon deposits are because it's on the inside. It, it, the direct injection, it sprays directly into the combustion chamber. So it never, the fuel never passes through the back of the valve and that's your whole problem. So adding an additive wouldn't really do much of anything. So um, it's kind of something that's just, uh, these don't have as much of a problem with it as a lot of the two liters and the, the three twos and the three liters and stuff like that. A lot of the other motors that they use, thank God. But um, it does happen from time to time. And um, other than pulling everything apart, it's kind of hard to address. So that's all. Other than that, I don't like this. Even this valve cover job is not my favorite because it has that one piece intake. So the intake manifold wraps all the way over the top of the valve cover right here and it's a, a one piece deal it goes all the way here you have to pull the high pressure fuel rail off the bottom and stuff like that it's actually kind of a pain not my favorite job some of the other ones they have a two piece where you can just remove the upper intake which is a lot nicer but that's not the case on this one so that's all thanks for watching